Welcome back everyone to another episode of What's Landing With G and this one is going to be a little bit of a special one it's almost like a bonus episode to be honest with you um, some products in here are new but some have been around for a really long time they're tried and true favourites what I thought I would do is show you how I style my short hair my main tools in my hair kit is the Dyson Supersonic. I was a little bit nervy about the price. The price is, is up there, but one of the best investments I've ever bought. The machine is in the handle, and so your hand doesn't get as tired. It's so much easier to actually blow dry. It's so much uh, quieter than any other blow dryer that is on the market, in my humble opinion. It's a little bit sexy, is another piece. Like, it's a little, it's got a bit of sex appeal about it. So it's constantly regulating its heat. It's some ridiculous, crazy figure number of times per second. It's been all over the world with me. Do you bring it with you overseas? Hundred percent. Uh -huh. Who is sorry? Can we talk about hotel hair dryers I for use a hotel second? Hair dryers. I hate How can you use them. a hotel hair dryer? Yeah, it does always, nothing. They're always crap. So at the moment, because I'm having really short hair, I have brought back my mini straighteners, my mini irons. And these, again, well loved. These are by Cloud9. This pair has lasted me since 2019. I bought this pair. Absolutely must have a round brush. Now, round brushes are tricky. There are ceramic round brushes and like a ball bristle brush. This is a Denman brush. It looks a bit gross at the moment. These are well loved products of mine. I do clean them, but they're well loved. I have a slightly bigger one, which I find is easier to use to get a little bit more shape. This is a old Kerastase brush, which you cannot buy anymore. This is a rat tail comb, um, and this is to use with the straightener to lift up and straighten your hair. In terms of what we call wet line, I have brought to in today what I use at the moment, that this is a rotation that changes all the time. Possibly one of my all-time favorite products is the Kerastase Nutritive Nectar Thermique. It's on the pricier end, but it's phenomenal. This is what they call blow dry care for dry hair. So I have dry hair, it's helping to keep the moisture in, it helps frizz, it helps it look more moisturized and more healthy, and it makes the blow dry much easier. And then of course, heat protectant. And when you're doing your hair daily like me, you need that in there. One of the go-tos that I use for a long time is the Elixir, you know, you guys know and love it. Let's talk about putties, clays, paste, molding, whatever you want to call it. This is Kevin Murphy, Rough Rider. You do not need lots. These tubs last you forever. Um, so highly recommend. And then final new one, this is the Kerastase Genesis Home. It's a texturizing paste and it's their first texturizing paste that they've ever made. It's designed for people who are going through uh, thinning hair or potentially hair fall to actually thicken the fibers of the hair that you've got when you're styling it. So it's a short term solution. Right, let's get into it. Okay, so I am dampening my hair. And so I always come out of the shower um, with wet hair that I'm then gonna style. I towel dry my hair. I'm gonna start by putting in my Kerastase Nutritive, the blow dry balm. And look, we put a pea size amount Mountain. That was again probably too much for my hair, but I like quite a bit of product in my hair because I like what it does for me. Next step is I am going to blow dry volume into my hair. So what I'm going to start doing is go all around my hair, blow drying the volume in and using my hand to start manipulating the direction of the hair I want. So you're going to need to dry the back of your hair first and come forward because otherwise you're going to over dry the front of your fringe. It's going to be overworked and you know, you risk damaging your hair. You can see now that I've dried it, you know, it's probably, I don't know, 90% dry. And so now what I'm going to do is start taking my brushes and styling it more and you'll start to see the shape. I'm on the highest fan setting, but only the second heat setting. So I like the the push of the fan, so to speak, to help straighten out the follicle. And then uh, I like don't like too much heat. I don't need it. Now you would have seen me pull up the hair and then blow dry it forward. So you've got to get your angle right. You want to be drying kind of over the brush, so to speak. You're not blow drying into the brush. So I'm going back in with my smaller brush now just to finesse and then we'll come in with the straightener. I like my fringe kind of pretty straight. 
lol the irony of that and then the rest of it i'm kind of going to go through and almost just do the ends like the mid to end so it's just polishing it off um i am going for a slight bevel in what i'm doing the reason for the bevel is that it will look more natural this is not the early 2000s i am not looking for that dead straight platinum blonde um look i'm going for a slightly more natural look Probably a little bit boy band like. That's kind of my vibe at the moment. I haven't used any cool shots on the hair dryer. Whether that's a mistake or not, I don't know. I'm going to start with the Mr. Smith Flex. Rub it well. This is a big mistake people make. You need to emulsify it. And then what you want to do is start at the back. Do not start at the front because that's how you get a massive glob of product in the front of your hair. And you want a bit of movement in the front of your hair. You don't want it stuck down. So I'm starting in the back. And look, I am not applying product in the shape that I want it to be. I am getting the product off my hands into my hair and building that texture. And I'm really working it in. I want it off my hands. Get the rest of the product into the sides of your hair. Have a look around. I'm getting a slightly drier product, which is this clay. I literally just scooped it off the, with the back of my fingernail because that's all, I don't want heaps. This is a very like strong product really rubbing it in because it's a clay and then just getting a little bit of it's almost like dry texture in the front of it and you can achieve that with a dry tech spray as well and you know I might scrunch it a little bit as well just to really get the product in there and I think that's made a world of difference so that is how I do my hair if you want to see more of these, of things I do, I don't know what else I do, how I do my makeup maybe, go and see these other videos of me. This way? This no way. way. This yeah. way? Go and see all those other videos of me and find out why all the TikTok boys are thirsting over G. <laughs> um, but otherwise, comment, like, subscribe, and keep coming back for more Adore Beauty.